welcome to my channel this is the second problem of our lead code journey this problem is about adding two numbers using linked lists so uh, first we need to learn how can we make a linked list uh, in python in this particular uh, uh, code like the linked list node is already coded in the system so we don't have to uh, code the uh, node uh, uh, no, node structure we just have to learn how to use it so every linked list node has two components the value in itself and the pointer to the next node and what this problem says is we have two numbers for example 342 and 465 and they are stored in a reverse manner in a linked list and now we have to add like starting from the head node we have to start adding so 5 plus 2 is 7 4 plus 6 is 10 but in this case like 0 will remain in the answer and 1 will be the carry and we have to account for the carry and then add again 3 4 plus carry which will give us 8 so uh, let's start coding uh, but before that let's learn how can we make a node so if you want to make a new node because this answer is also going to be stored uh, in a linked list right so we'll have to make a node for the first and then uh, uh, you know point it to the next node and then uh, again next node so to make a new node equals to we'll use the list node uh, itself so we can do list node of zero so what this does is it will make a new node but here the pointer is set to uh, since we are not giving the next pointer the default value is none so it will be pointing to none so it is just this round thing without any pointer it's not pointing to any other node if we say like new node uh, we have another node so second node equals to list node of one and then to point them like we'll have to do new node dot next equals to second node so we just made first node for let's let's give it a name seven and then zero so we just did seven points to zero in this three line of code okay so e even if this is uh, not clear from this example you can go ahead watch other videos of linked list uh, in python and uh, you'll get more clarity also we need to learn uh, how do we calculate carry and this answer itself so uh, carry uh, will be calculated as whatever the summation is so 4 plus 6 equals to 10 for example 10 is stored in this sum percentage 10 uh, sorry <coughs> sum divided divided by 10 and this value this value for example its name is answer equals to some percentage 10 okay so you have to remember this uh, two things carry is sum divide divide 10 answer is some percentage 10 now let's start a uh, uh, coding so first we'll initiate the answer link equals to this node of let's initiate it with zero for now okay then let's make a variable called carry which is equal to zero <coughs> and to keep track of where we are in this link list 
we have to make a current uh, pointer which will keep track of where we are in the answer okay so we'll just initiate it with answer link now let's start from l1 is the first number which is starting sorry which is start like the first number is l1 and l2 is the second link list which contains the second so <clears throat> how many times will we run the loop so in this problem there are a lot of edge cases okay so first condition is l1 and l2 should not be null should not be empty linked list second carry uh, carry should not be none okay um <clears throat> so if there was five and five over here uh, it shouldn't just store zero over here and forget about the one okay so uh, otherwise the answer will be wrong so we also need to take this one carry and then put one over here so that's why the carry should also not be zero so let's start while sorry while l1 is not none or l2 is not none or carry is not equal to zero now the digit one we want to store two in the digit one equals to l1 dot val here the two is stored in this val variable if l1 dot val is not none else just return 0 digit 2 equals to l2 dot well if l2 dot well is not none else just return 0 and then the sum will be what digit 1 plus digit 2 plus carry and the carry calculated from this will be 2 plus 5 that summation is 7 now some uh, the answer will be some percentage 10 so 7 percentage 10 is 7 so answer will be stored as 7 and then carry will be calculated as sum divide divide 10 so 7 divided by 10 it will give the carry of 0 so 0 will be here now this 7 is there okay this is just a variable it is just stored in variable how do we make a linked list of answer so let's make a node let's initiate a node for our answer link list so new node equals to list node of what will be stored over here you got it answer and now the current current pointer should point to new node so current dot next equals to new node and then current will change this initiate so we initiated with answer link which is zero node right but now we have to change it to the new node right so we can also do current equals to current dot next
so now this current is pointing over here instead of the head node which was zero so it's pointing over here and then again like in the while loop will go again over here and it will add oh by the way this l1 is still pointing over here so now we need to point to 4 so let's do that l1 equals to l1 dot next because l1 was here l1 dot next is 4 if l1 dot next is not none else return none l2 equals to l2 dot next if l2 dot next is not none <clears throat> else none now why did i add this this uh, this line because if l1 is at the end the l1 dot next is going to point to nothing none because it's the end so in this case if you return none if l1 and l2 both became at their ends then both will return none and this will cause this loop to stop and then we can come out of this loop and then return the answer over here otherwise it will keep on like uh, doing because it is not none uh, it will keep on like you know like doing something crazy so let's um, I think this looks okay and then let's start um, let's start uh, returning our result so now as a result we will do result equals to um, answer link dot next this is our result why because the answer link started from the zeroth node which was over here and then zero dot next is seven so our answer is starting from answer link dot next and then we'll just return result so let's try running and let's see if this um, gives us the right answer for the test oh so there is some kind of uh, error it says none time object has no attribute well oh mm, l2 dot well is not none else it, oh okay so we could just do l1 this is good next is not none else uh, no, either, no attribute next okay let's just remove this as well okay so this uh, answer was accepted uh, so I hope this method is pretty straightforward uh, and uh, I hope it could help. Uh, see you in the next problem. Thank you. Bye.